Ooh, this is a game I made for the Dream Diary 48 hour video game jam competition. The theme was uh, the entire game in one screen. I made a game which is a boss rush. So basically you control this little character and you have to fight these three gods. Each each of the three gods preceded by two random bosses. Uh, you can charge a little shot and you can fire it. You can jump and you can do a little dash maneuver. It's basically just teleports forward. Uh, so, uh, the game is available for free in the description, obviously. If you don't want the tactics of how you defeat bosses ruined, then you know, just check the game out and whatever. If you want to see the bosses and how to beat them, then I'm going to just play through the game. Okay. Let's begin. Uh, so the game doesn't start until you get, until you destroy one of these statues. So let's throw that one. And then you get some random bosses. So you just think I was Red Dragon. I don't like his tactics very much. But we fought them. I would have made them much better. But yeah. Basically, he just randomly either sends fire or crashes down on the ground like this. And then he does that. And that's basically so bad. But, unfortunately, he sometimes does the fire too much. And doesn't give you any chance to attack him. Because he's invisible right now. You can only hit him when he's charging these uh, belly blast thing. There is a counter to make him more likely to land the more he does the fire breath. But it's not a high enough really. Here we go. Oops. So I don't think that window's high enough eh, long enough. I don't do get much damage. Sorry for some weird of what cold. So you could have finished on there, but I would have taken damage. And the only way you can heal is by killing one of the gods, and you get like 25% of your health back or something. So that's only two opportunities to heal in the entire game. There we go, first one down. You can see the little pillar shrinking that needs to stand up. Ah, now it's standing. She's invisible right now while she's got that uh, hand on her shadow when she fires these little homing blasts. Basically, got to uh, shoot the hand that's got an eye on it. Which means the best place to stand is in the middle, but unfortunately, standing in the middle, you're more likely to get hit by the thing that's coming at you. And then she gets uh, weakened when you shoot her hand, and you can just fire her. Um, well, that's pathetic. There should be one more trip. There's a lot of stuff I never got around to making in the game. Um, I like practical effects and sounds and yada yada for feedback for when you hit things when you don't hit things because sometimes send you to the level, sometimes you're not. Uh, what? Ah. Also, my argumentation was uh, when the pillars fell down, they would like collapse into hundreds of pieces, kind of thing, in the background, and would be like dust clouds. Every little bit more, like some weird destruction that's happening. But it was more important to get at least six bosses and three gods done. Also, we really wanted to have a lot more than that, but time restraints. Hey, it's not uh, the snowman was one of the themes that almost won the Blood and Diary theme voting. 
and a lot of people have included Luke Snowman in the games, which is cool. It's cool when they're. Whoops, I didn't mean to destroy a statue. I was going to show you that. Basically, if you don't destroy all the free statues, then. Yeah, uh, uh, well, bosses only come if their statue is destroyed. So if you haven't destroyed all three statues, then the gods won't come until you have destroyed the statue. So, thing. Sorry, I'm going wrong. Oops. The controls aren't the best, really. You can see there sometimes I try and turn and don't. Yeah, that's how it is when Time. Right, so next is oh yeah this guy. So you basically throw your sword and you avoid it. You avoid it. <laughs> Jesus. Right. So you basically invincible when he hides in his mask there, and then he throws his sword, the sword gets stuck in the ground, and then he uses psychic powers or whatever to throw it out of the ground again. And there's that. Next up is Narcissa Bell. So her little gimmick is that if you fire at her, it does nothing. You have to Hit where her mirror image is, which is always 180 degrees opposite her in the rotation. Thing. And you can see when I hit her, there's a little faint image of her. You can see. And it could be better telegraphed there, but. And finally, oh, not finally. Let's do the starfish. Really want to include one of these bosses. And, you know, they're kind of a trope, the whole rotating spheres of protection you can think. Maybe you could just have two attacks. And, uh, this is the only boss that you really need to dash to move away from. Because if he starts. You, yeah, if he does that. The only way to get away from getting hurt is to dash out of the way. And that's really the only opportunity. Uh, the only time you really need to use that. Oh, am I going to here? I mean, the dash really needs uh, like an animation. Yeah. Hey, great. Fair enough. <coughs> so this has danger there, but she only actually hurts you when she does these damage beam things. Which is kind of, as has been pointed out, is, uh, you know, not too intuitive that you can just stand there. Uh, if I was doing this again, I'd probably make her, I'd probably make the danger bits actually, like her showing up on either side there, rather than an energy blast. And you'd have to stand in the middle. Sure. Uh, you basically just have to show her weird little heart thing there. That is kind of like she's so evil, she's removed her heart from herself, and it's kind of a. There's not a whole lot of plot to it, but you do try and think of personality for the villains and things. And it's a silly thing this. And that's it. The three gods are finished, and the world turns to black. Because you've killed the gods. Well done. Yeah, so that's the game. Check it out in the description if you want to give it a try. And we're done.